This is possibly one of the worst Transformers in my collection. This thing is trash. This is the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Deluxe Class Arachnid. If you don't know Arachnid, she is the Spider Lady. Uh, she was the Spider Lady of Transformers Prime instead of Black Arachnia. She was a really cool character. Really liked Arachnid. Was really looking forward to a cool action figure of her. And unfortunately, this is what we got. This is by far the worst figure in the Transformers Prime line. Uh, there is almost no redeeming quality to this figure whatsoever. I do not have her accessories with her, but that's not really relevant because they're not even things she used in the show. Uh, technically, they were null rays uh, that Knockout was going to replace Starscream's arm with. Uh, that's pretty much what they were. I have them on a different figure. Who really cares? That's what they look like. Whatever. We're already done with it. Again, not even accurate to the character, uh, but honestly, this has no purpose existing. It is that bad. It's We'll get into it more. This is a, a full-on comparison. It's awful. But, thankfully, APC Toys, uh, who typically makes, uh, typically knockoff upscales or just improved knockoffs of Transformers Prime figures. I feel like initially they were going to knock this figure off, but I think they kind of gave up and they ended up making their own original figure. So technically this is a third party figure. Typically don't go for a third party, but when it's Transformers Prime, I'm inclined to make an exception because Prime is what got me into Transformers. Uh, I mean, it's not what introduced me, but it's really what got me hooked. So. This is APC Toys Night Countess. I don't know if you can tell, but it is so much better in every way. <laughs> it looks great. It poses pretty great. It's not perfect. It's not. Because they still needed to get this figure to transform into a helicopter. And I think they did a pretty good job with it. I like that they included interchangeable arms to have the crazy cool spider legs. I think it's really nice. Because you still get the smaller legs that she has, as well as the smaller legs that end up becoming the helicopter blades. And I'll show how she looks with those later. But, I mean, look at it. This one scales great with the first edition RC, which unfortunately, both of them, that does kind of mean they don't really scale too great with other figures, but it's Transformers, man. Who really cares about scale too much at the end of the day? It's not that big of a deal. One of the only things I like is my Optimus being smaller or the same size as Megatron. It's pretty much it. All right. So I did want to show off uh, Knight Countess's box real quick because it's got some pretty cool art. You can see it's it's got some art. It's it's a box. It actually was encased in foam too, which is kind of funny. But yeah, just a neat little box. It's going to go in the trash now. But let's start off by just taking a closer look at the Abomination. So there's almost no paint. Uh, she's missing so much paint, so much d detail. Like, I always loved all the detail on Arachnid's head, and it's almost all missing here. It's It looks so bad. The arms, the initial shape, like, of the shoulders and everything aren't too bad. That's probably what they're trying to do. But I feel like they just kind of didn't really know what to do with the forearms. So they're literally just a little string of a hinge connected to this little shard of a panel with this weird flat uneven hand like seriously there's no way for the arms to even become even it, it, it's atrocious this is these are some of the worst arms on a transformer ever and despite this double hinge you don't really get too much of an elbow joint like you kind of do but like these big panels get in the way of the shoulders and the backpack so essentially the only thing you can really have her do is like karate chop it's so bad i mean look at this and the head, don't even get me started on the head articulation, because the absolute buffoon that designed this thing decided, oh, let's give her an opening cockpit for almost no reason. The only thing that really serves is flipping out the nose cone of the helicopter. But you see how it has a clear little seat in there? That's kind of cool. It's got a seat. Yeah, but it's not that cool when you realize it's literally attached to the back of her head. That is a part of her head. She has a seat on the back of her head. Someone thought that was a good idea. I don't know who, but someone. And if you put this piece in there, it even gives less room for that seat to move around. So her head articulation is so limited because of the seat. And not to mention, she has this massive panel sticking like right behind her back. 
That's not even the end of it, though. Her legs, they can hardly spread. They can hardly move forward because they've got these huge panels at this weird angle. Her knees are like the tiniest little things ever. And you would think, oh, maybe they have like sideways knees. No, you don't even get like sideways knees. You just get this tiniest little bend. And that's it. And her feet, again, like they're this, the, the tiniest little feet. And she's got this huge backpack. It's It's so unbelievably bad. I mean, it's... I, at least the legs kind of work, you know, they kind of go into a more proper position, you know, they kind of tab in. But man, you do have a little coattail, which I think is kind of cool. I mean, that's there at least. But the posability is essentially worthless. And again, those big guns, you could either put them in her hands and just make her look like a lobster. Uh, or you could put them on the sides of her arms, like proper null rays. It's so odd. It's so odd. Ah, oh, man. So let's bring in the APC Toys one. Uh, so you can just see right off the get-go, her face, for being a giant robot spider lady, is pretty gorgeous. I mean, yes, she is an absolute monster. She is an evil, evil robot person. But let's just say she's pretty cute while she's doing it. Look at that. Look at that. They did make her eyes pretty big on this figure, I'm not going to lie. She did have, like, big solid colored eyes in the show. I don't know, there is a part of, uh, of this face that I feel like is a little anime-ified. Just a little bit, just the tiniest bit. She does have a little bit of teeth showing, which I actually think does look kind of nice. This kind of adds a bit more character to her. You know, you can get a lot of head articulation. There's no back seat on this one. There's no seat. Do you see a seat back there? I'm not seeing a seat. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, get a nice, a lot of nice head articulation. You can see the torso, I feel like, is more nicely shaped. It's an actual body now. The arms, you actually have arms now. There's actual arms, guys. Oh my god, there's actual hands. Yes, they are still flat, but they actually have some some pose to them. The shoulder panels, you may think, oh, no, they're still kind of getting in the way of the articulation. You can move them. So you can actually get them out of the way. You can move them back. You can move them forward. You can actually move those shoulder panels independent of the shoulders, so that is great. The legs, look at that, you can actually move the legs out. You still struggle a little bit moving them forward. I think that's just because of the shaping, unfortunately. I do wish that would be a little bit better. You still get the coattails, which is pretty nice. But, look at that, knees. You get knees, and you have a thigh swivel too. And then the feet. Uh, you do have this joint here, which you may think initially, oh, it's not really too useful. But believe me, it actually does help with certain poses, being able to move that. I actually do appreciate that quite a bit. So, it's not all, because you got the big spider legs on the back too. These are the big spider legs, obviously. Uh, so, that does mean you can have her in the spider walk mode, and we'll get her in that shortly. But, one thing I like, I like posing her like this the most, because she did this sometimes, where she like had them out and used them as like weapons. I think that's pretty cool looking. Uh, they do have individual articulation too, which is pretty nice. Let's just set the crappy one down. Uh, you can swivel them at the connection point. They do hinge in and out. They do have a hinge right there that I wish would kind of go in a little bit more, but it's not too bad. And you do have a hinge right there, which is not the most, but it's not too bad. One of my only complaints with this figure is that these big legs don't stay too attached to the back plate. They don't, they don't stay perfectly. Another thing, I don't feel like they're perfectly aligned either. I, I just feel like, you know, like those are kind of pinching in a little too much. So I do kind of struggle to get her standing. And again, you saw how that just moving it around, it, it kind of makes it want to come out. It'll stay in there. Once you have it in there, it'll stay. But like if you're moving it, like, oh, let's pose it. It works its way out, unfortunately. So let's just take these off to kind of get her in a little bit of a transformation for the other legs shortly. However, before I do that, I do want to show how she looks with the small legs. So I do like these. Again, you could have her like this. You can't really fold them how, how she had them in the show all, uh, sometimes. Like she kind of had them like really folded up. Kind of like, let's just ignore all the stuff that's hanging off. She kind of had them folded up something like this in a way. Here, let's move this. Like ignoring how much it's sticking off. She had it folded like that in certain ways, but obviously that's not really going to work. It's just not how a, a, an actual physical toy is going to be able to pull it off. 
so despite that, I mean, you can you can have her with it, kind of like how the uh, the proper figure does. And uh, yeah, again, looks way better. It looks way better in pretty much every single way. Uh, it does not have as much of a locking mechanism, but it is kind of stable enough. It's not going to go everywhere, but obviously it's a helicopter blade it's going to turn. So it's pretty quick and easy to kind of get her in that spider walk mode. I would probably have her as flat as possible. Get the legs a little more together. It's pretty simple. It's it's what you would expect, honestly. It's it's the spider walk mode. <laughs> there are these little tabs right there that the little coattails will go into. And then the legs. I feel like there's a place they join. Yeah, they join at the at the very end there. So the legs will join. Then the coattails will attach. And unfortunately, I feel like it doesn't move as back, as as much back as I would like. But despite that, it's doable. I do feel like it, it struggles a little bit, because like, this figure at the end of the day to me feels like something that would have been released in the original first edition line. Uh, so it does kind of include some of the finickiness of a figure of that era. Like you can see, I'm trying to get this all tabbed in and I'm kind of having a time. And I do also wish that this could like tilt back a little bit more because the only real way to have her with the spider legs is to have her like this. But let's get those spider legs attached again. And this is where, once again, I feel like some of that limited articulation and wonkiness does kind of give her some issue because I don't feel like I can get the legs as nice and to the ground as I would like. However, it's doable. You can see these keep coming off. It's not a perfect figure. It's not. I wish it was, but it's not. However, it's leagues and bounds better. Uh, it's going to look way better on the shelf. It's an arachnid that can actually do things that arachnid did in the show. Man, I just wish she stayed in. Oh my god. And you can see, once you kind of get her in this position, I have tried to get her standing, and I feel like the, long, the wonkiness of the legs mixed with the limited articulation, mixed with the slight angle it's at, mixed with how easily these come off. I have not managed it. I have not managed to get her standing like this. It, I'm sure it's doable. I've seen some pictures of collectors doing it. Like I said, I'm sure it's doable, but I have not been able to get her like this without the back of her feet like serving as another base. It's, it's kind of unfortunate. I was never really planning on displaying her like this anyway, but at least it's kind of doable. I just think the legs could have been done a little bit better because, you know, they're going to come right off. This is the last time we will be seeing them. Okay, so I'm just interjecting this part real quick, filming it on my phone. After the end of the video, I transformed her back into robot mode. And uh, I'll notice this later in the video, but I didn't fully collapse her legs. Uh, once you fully collapse her legs and get the legs shorter, uh, it really helps with getting the spider mode working, and was it a pain to get all of the legs positioned to get her standing? Absolutely. However, it's doable. It is doable. <laughs> In the video, I didn't really think it was doable, but it's doable. Uh, so I am going to cut out some of the parts where I was originally like, oh man, it's such a shame that, you know, you can't really do that. You can. It's just irritating, and a lot of my complaints still hold. The legs do easily fall out. They're still kind of warped. This isn't ideal. This isn't super easy to pull off. But you actually can have an arachnid figure in her spider mode. So with that, let's get this out of the way. Let's start transforming. So, I mean, just look at this again. Oh my gosh. Night and day. Night countess and day. Ha 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 ha. Oh jeez. Yeah, I wish that would stay a little bit better. I feel like the legs are the weakness of the APC toys. So... This one, yay, let's let's do it. Yay, I'm so excited. There's not much to it, honestly, because it's, I mean, look at it. It's basically a helicopter with like a spider woman kind of sort of sticking off of it. Uh, the, the, arm, the hands kind of fold in. You, you fold something, man, something like slides. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. Doesn't this slide, what slides? Something slides. I haven't done this in a while. What slides? There we go. That all slides in. 
and then that will connect and then the arms will shift up kind of tab in we're pretty much already done oh man i do have to give it to the helicopter i feel like they entirely sacrificed every aspect of the robot to give us a pretty decent looking helicopter i mean that's that's arachnids helicopter mode <laughs> it's it looks it's it's her mode it looks the part um i i might keep her like this forever just so she serves some sort of purpose in my life uh yeah it's her helicopter mode the the blades don't really spin much well they don't really spin too well there's too much friction in there again you can't open the cockpit and see the uh the head chair inside it's it's her helicopter i mean what more can i say it's man it at least it's an easy transformation but unfortunately it just shows that they literally sacrificed the entire robot just to give us this little helicopter pod however the apc toys one proves that you didn't need to sacrifice the robot to get a nice helicopter mode so i'm going to take this off just for my ease because it does you know fly around a little bit more i've only done this once and it's a little tricky. I mean, it, it really does remind me of a first edition. It really does, because it has a lot going on. Uh, the legs are pretty straightforward. You can kind of see how this is going to work. There's not much to really explain with the legs. So I know they untab, and then they're going to fold in for the helicopter mode. I'm pretty sure. Unless that was supposed to be for the, uh, the walking mode. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's for the helicopter that's supposed to fold in pretty positive i'm hoping i'm not i'm hoping i didn't totally botch the uh the weird spider mode okay something something detaches here there we go that detaches and then these they're on their own little swivels and they're gonna swivel somewhere i know the arms they do a thing i think they fold up i think they fold up like this yeah there we go there we go Arms fold up like that. Thankfully, you don't have to move the hands in any way. That just fits in perfectly. You can see it's definitely a lot more. There's a lot more going on with it. But oftentimes, having a more complex transformation does result in a better figure overall. And sometimes a simple transformation results in another piece of trash. That's just how it is sometimes. So, I know that will flip down. Because that's just a little tip of the nose and then I want to say that's gonna rotate and then do a little flip me do down I think I'm getting it yeah if she like does this whole crazy like accordion in on herself thing which is pretty cool <laughs> it's pretty cool how this comes together but you can see it's kind of a mess it definitely is a third-party figure it definitely is it's got a lot going on. This is not the kind of thing you would have seen sold in stores back in the day. It's just, it's simply not. Those have little pegs that's going to attach in right there. Yeah, there we go. And then we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Things kind of attach. Things kind of tab in. That's going to tab in. So many little tabs on this. Oh, my goodness. That's going to tab right there. The coattail's actually going to go in the same thing it was before. Okay, this side's pretty much done. There we go. That side's pretty much done. Almost, except it popped out. There we go. <laughs> and let's do it all over again on this side. I don't think that goes in all the way. Almost. Almost got it. One last little tab, and done. So, as you can see, you still get a pretty good helicopter with the APC Toys one. The legs tab in. The hinges are uh, horizontal instead of vertical, so I don't feel like the blades are really going to get out of the, uh, get in the way. That spins very nice and freely. It's a lot better in my opinion. <laughs> it's just a lot better of a toy overall. You can see it does kind of, uh, I don't feel like it captures perfectly how it looked in the show compared to this. I think this just looks pretty much spot on. But that's because it's basically a helicopter with a robot 
inside it. It's not a robot that turns into a helicopter, unfortunately. Uh, they could have done it so much better. It's, it's unfortunate, man. I feel like this figure was one of the biggest, if not the biggest, disappointment in the Transformers Prime line. It's so bad. This is what we deserved the whole time. This figure is really nice. I really recommend it. Is it perfect? No. Uh, I feel like the issues stem from the legs and trying to do the uh, like the spider walk mode. The legs, the big legs, are not stable enough to hold it up. It's just not. They keep coming out at the ports. They keep, you know, they're not straight perfectly. It could have been done better. I wish, believe it or not, typically I'm anti-ball joint because ball joints are super loose. But I think if they would have put some tight ball joints in there, I think those legs could have been a lot better. But they would have had to make sure the ball joints were very tight. Unfortunately, they just did hinges. So it does kind of make it fall a little short. But at the end of the day, there's an arachnid comparison. Here we go. So, do I recommend the APC Toys Arachnid? I do have to mention its price. It is a third-party figure. It does come with a lot of extra stuff. That means it's 50 bucks. So you're basically paying a leader class price for uh, an old, like, first edition deluxe kind of figure from Transformers Prime. Do you get a lot of extra plastic? Yes, you do. You get all the extra legs and things. But it's kind of steep, especially when you look at other APC Toys figures. Like my Megatron was also around 50 bucks. So, I mean, this one did need a lot of extra development. So I personally think it was worth the price. Should you get the old one? Avoid it like the plague. It is so bad. It is <laughs> genuinely one of the worst Transformers in my collection. I did that video a little bit back where I was talking about my guilty pleasures. This one's not a guilty pleasure. There's nothing pleasurable about the original Deluxe. It is tremendously horrible. Don't buy it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I think I have slammed on the old one enough, and I've praised the new one enough. Is the new one perfect from APC Toys? It's not perfect but it's pretty damn good. I really like it. I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to have a nice arachnid on my Transformers Prime shelf instead of hiding away this one like I did. I seriously hid it in the shelf. I like had it all the way in the back. Even though she was small, she was just covered up. I didn't see her because I didn't want to look at it. But now I will have an arachnid on the shelf I'm actually proud of, and that's pretty great. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which arachnid you think is better down below. <sighs> Alrighty, <laughs> have a good one, guys. Special shout out to the patrons at Patreon. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.